you have heard this statement. Our compensation plan is the best and it's unique and it's wonderful and there's no other like it in the planet. If you have heard that, you are yielding to marketing. Because the reality is, since time immemorial when direct selling started, there have been three types of compensation plans. The first type of compensation plan is a unilever. It is the most common type. About two thirds of the entire industry use the unilevel compensation plan. It is very simple to identify. You can build as many lines as you would like, infinitely wide, but the amount of pay you receive based on the number of generations down is limited. Some limit to three, some limit to five, some limit to seven. But the reality is the compensation plan limits its exposure in payout based on the number of levels in the compensation plan that it's willing to pay on. And here's a little hint. The fewer the levels, actually the better, all things being equal. Next is the matrix. It's the second most common compensation plan type, and it, like the unilevel, limits the amount of pay that you can receive on the number of levels. It might be three levels, it might be five, might be seven. But the matrix also has another limiting factor. You can only build so wide. So you might have a three by five, a five by three, a seven by nine, whichever. Again, surprisingly, the fewer the width and the fewer the levels deep the compensation plan pays on, the better it is. Why is that the case? Because you don't need as many people to get all of the commissions that are available for that type of bonus. The third compensation plan stands out from these two, but it is fairly uncommon. It's called a binary. In fact, I read articles all the time where people say, I wouldn't touch a binary for all the tea in China. That is just a personal opinion that has no merit any different than somebody who would say, I would stay away from the unilevel because it creates the most number of cross-line people. The binary has a bad rap because it doesn't limit the number of levels. In fact, it pays infinitely deep on the number of levels. But the binary limits how much you can pay on any one line. So you can limit levels or you can limit the amount of volume you get paid on. But in either case, there must be a limiting factor on compensation plans or a compensation plan will pay too much to the reps and literally pay out over 100% of all the sales that come in. And if the company doesn't stay viable, you don't have a viable business. So up until now, those three types of plans all had some type of limit. Then came along ARCs. I've had the opportunity to look at hundreds of compensation plans throughout my career, hundreds of them. And as a statistician, I'm able to calculate how each of them pay out their benefits, their good, and their cons, their bad points of the compensation plan. Wouldn't it be neat if you could come up with a compensation plan that was unlimited in width and unlimited in depth? If you could have that, people could build their compensation preference any way they want. If they want to brag, oh, I'd only do a unilevel, then only do a unilevel because it pays infinitely wide. And if you said, no, I wouldn't want to do a unilevel, creates too many cross lines, I want to build infinitely deep, more like a binary pays in a multi-line created by Rx, you can build it any way you want. I told you people make claims about their compensation plan being unique and truly different. Well, ours is truly unique and different. But don't take my word for it. Take the US Patent Office. On file now are for three patents unique to the Rx compensation plan that actually build a structure that is not a hybrid of three other plans but stands alone in its own category to give people the flexibility to build like a unilevel, build like a matrix, or build like a binary, however they wish.